guys, Dan the Wolfman here, Catch Jitsu.com, Catch Jitsu Grappling, Real Catch Wrestling, showing you uh, my ideas on the front headlock position. There's a lot of submissions. The other day I taught uh, Cow Catcher Cobra Neck Cranks, which is one of my go to moves, rolling Cobra Neck Crank. There's at least five different guillotines, face crank, and neck cranks from there. There's a whole lot of submissions, uh, but I'm going to talk about one particular series that no one else has put together yet, and that is Schultz Choke to Anaconda Choke or Peruvian Necktie or to catch your arm through guillotine. They're all related positions and no one's really chained them together before that I'm aware of or when the guy is built weird and doesn't tap to one or when the guy flattens out to defend, how to transition these together. So, let's say that I'm wrestling here with Steve and he's got a good Greco guy and he's jacking me up and whatever, boom, I'm gonna snap him down, down, snap this guy down, and now we're gonna start from here. I got my chin strap, my chin grip, and I got, and I got, uh, my T-Rex on his arm here. Now I could go to that Cobra neck crank right away, but let's say I feel that he's open here, he's not getting hand defense, and I shoot this arm through. Especially if you have long arms. I am a short arm guy. So like Anaconda isn't good for me, know that when I show it. But especially if you are a long arm guy, you're gonna love this series. So I'm here, I shoot this in. Number one is attempt to do a Schultz front headlock choke. Palm the palm grip, bump this arm across, and tripod up. Now I'm gonna put my head in the hole and I'm gonna keep weight above his shoulder blades and I'm gonna kinda guillotine with my lat muscles and pull and pull and pull and pull and pull and drive in and drive in and drive in until he tap. Okay? Now some people, uh, the way they're built, maybe don't tap great to this. It's not a choke, some people can learn it right away and some people have problems with it. It takes a lot of feel. Uh, very few people have taught it before and at seminars and it's one that takes feel more than other chokes. So, uh, but anyway, it's the first one to attempt, in my, my opinion, in this series. I go here, I go through, I'm gonna bump this arm across, like so, really jack it across, tripod up, put my head in the well, but keep some shoulder weight above his back here, shoulder blade area, here, and pull. Okay. Now, Again, if the guy's tough, pulling his arm back, defending, or he flattens out to defend, I might transition to one of the other chokes in the series that are all related because of positioning. Uh, and, and I'm not great at these because I don't have long arms. Peruvian and Anaconda, I'm not great at. Next, I, and I'm doing these now from this clip, or you could switch to the traditionally, a lot of these are done this way. But I'm finding I don't even need to adjust my grip. I can stick with this palm to palm grip and that's gonna help me keep this arm across. So let's say I have someone that doesn't tap to this. Right away I can switch to Peruvian necktie. Step over the head, or better yet if I can catch him, and if you have long legs, step over the, the arm and the shoulder. But I can often only get to here. So I'm in here, I'm still choking, I come here, I sit back, I throw this leg over him, and I'm extending. This is the worst thing to ever get tapped out in. I've got tapped twice live with this after about 25 minutes when I was a purple belt from two black belt guys who managed to catch me after cooking me. This is really bad because not only am you pulling with your arms and your lats, but you can back extension and you can leg extension. So it's really the worst kind of hangman technique that there is. Again, I'm here and then I step over and then I'm coming up and I throw this over and I trap them very good here, but I can often choke very well. If you get this sewn over the back, higher the leg, the better, so he can't really roll. Okay, I'll have uh, Dave come here. Thanks. Now Dave, the way he's built, I actually have trouble Schultz choking him. So that's one reason to know to defend this. So he comes in, I sprawl, I'm here, I get this across, I'm here, I start Schultz choking. Now I'm gonna come up, throw this over, and there is the Peruvian necktie right away. Really, 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 really uh, nasty. You okay? One more time. Here, bumping across, Schultz swooping, trying. He's not tapping on us. Throw this over. Come here. Okay. So, uh, sorry. One more time. If uh, someone defends an anaconda or Schultz stroke by flattening out, you can go to the Peruvian as well. So even Marcelo Garcia teaches this. 
against an anaconda. Could be the same thing. I've had people do it uh, instinctively against a Schultz joke. So, if I'm having trouble on the Schultz choke or an anaconda, and he sprawls face down and spreads his elbows, switch back to that palm to palm grip if you're an anaconda, or here, either way, or keep it if you're in a Schultz choke. Come over, step over, down, and trap. If I had longer legs and more flexible legs, it'd be even worse. So know that. Next uh, is anaconda. So I'm not great at it. I don't have long arms. But if I was shot through and I wanted to throw an anaconda in here, boom, shoot it deep, come here, roll. I like to roll all the way. Some people you can tell right here by supermaning your lungs and pulling in, and if not, keep turning that circle, hook one of those legs, and fold in his head in and compress him. Gokar Shevichin can get this on the back without a leg hook, simply because his grip is so strong, he's 5'8", and a bull, by doing that and filling the lungs up. So, you don't always have to have the leg, but against most people you will. So I'm here, I shoot in deep, I log roll him, Oh, close. Them in there. Uh, quickly, let me talk about anaconda defense because I have no other videos on it. If Dave throws me an anaconda here, I want to keep my elbow across and I want to block his hips. So he rolls me through or I feel the grip. Block those hips out, form a palm here and form. And now try to bring this elbow across. And he's going to climb, 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 and I'm going to spin like the hand of a clock. Spin, spin, all day long, we're gonna spin, 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 spin until I get something, sorry. So until I can get out of it, obviously transition. So you wanna, don't let him get your leg. Post, forearm, and palm strike. And, and keep his hips away from your hips and legs. Um, you can also anaconda guillotine. Uh, I'm not great at it, Dave's not great at it yet, but I'll, I'll show that, uh, let Dave show that really quick if you don't mind grabbing an anaconda grip. Charles Oliver has done this twice in the UFC. If he shoots a deep in anaconda grip, he's going to pull guard on me. He pull full guard or shoot, shoot. Right here, I'm across and extend me with this. Okay. So you can get full guard or kind of shin seal the cross and extend it. Uh, Phil Davis is not the only guy to win with two anacondas in the UFC. Charles Oliver is anaconda guillotine style. Next, if the guy Again, isn't tapping that shoulder choke, let's always build off of that. That's the first thing to go to from a wrestling perspective. And if the guy's defending, or I can't get him, can't get my grip quite right, whatever it is, the next thing I can go to is a catcher arm through guillotine, which is a very special guillotine because the arm's trapped on the other side of the body. So it's different from all the other advanced guillotines. It really is. So I'm here, and I'm here, boom, and I'm tripoding up, whatever. See this space? I'm going to fill it with my knee. Trap him and extend him. Okay, I got his arm across. I have two other videos on a catcher arm through guillotine. Ryan Bader did it from half guard, loose, but if you put a lockdown in, it's even better. I have a video on that. Or you can extend out this way. Just one more time. I'm here. Swallow them out. I got my grip. I'm trying this. I can either shoot to the Peruvian, I showed that earlier, or this is the one guillotine I feel comfortable going on my back in. I can ride, ride, drive in, drive in, drive in. Drive in, drive in, he's going to want to wrestle me, come back in, drive in there, whoop, whoop, slide your knee in the hole and extend him out, and quick tap. You see this one more and more in high level MMA in the UFC and whatnot. So these positions, these submissions should get chained together and they're not. So anytime you're through, don't just think. We do other stuff with that chin grip and switching to uh, power assist guillotine. Figure four front face lock, neck crank, figure four guillotine, uh, high elbow guillotine, other stuff. But if you're in this position where you shoot your arm through, all four of these, five of these, uh, are options that you can go to and you chain them off of each other. So if he goes flat, prove your necktie. If you can't get him the shoulder stroke, prove your necktie, or switch to the anaconda, or go right away to the catcher arm through guillotine, 
Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Practice them, feel your grips out. Everyone's arm lengths is different and kind of figure out how to play. But a lot of you can do from this, or if you feel like you need to switch to that, okay. But a lot of it is this kind of pulling, rowing motion. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side.